This problem's called candy permutations. Let's say you were about to choose which Halloween candy you were gonna have first. One way to do it is you could make an organized list. You could say, okay, I could have the Whopper first, then the Hershey, then the Jolly Rancher, then the Smarty, and then the Hershey's Kiss. Or you could say, I could have the Hershey's Kiss first, then this, maybe in that order. Or what if I wanted the Smarties first? See how it, it's getting too complicated. You can't keep track by making an organized list. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna use permutations. So the first thing you have to ask yourself, how many candies do we have here? And that's one, two, three, four, five choices of candy. So we're gonna have the first candy, the second candy, the third candy, the fourth candy, and the fifth candy. So for the, our first choice, we have five choices to choose from. It could be any one of the, the five that I have over on my left. So that's gonna be five choices for the first. So let's say the first one that you choose is the Hershey's Dark. That's no longer part of the group. So then how many are left to choose from? And you can see that there are four. So let's say Smarties is the next one chosen. Now we have three to choose from, the Jolly Rancher, the Hershey's Kiss, and the Whoppers. So that's three. So let's say Whoppers is chosen next. Now you only have two left. And let's say the Hershey's Kiss is the next one you decide to eat. Then what you have left is one. So the way to figure out how many different ways that you could order your Halloween candy you simply multiply these two things, all, all five numbers together. And always look for compatible numbers to make it easier for yourself. For example, the five times two would be 10, and then the four times three would be 12. And then of course, when you multiply any number by 10, you just take this number here and add a zero. And then our number property on one, when we multiply something by one, we know we're gonna get 120. So really, this is a question of five factorial, and we get 120 ways.